Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the 1st of October. Well, um, something weird happened here at the uh, end of September. Uh, Mr. Lane went to a farm sale and he bought something a little different than what I expected. We've pulled these two tractors out of the out of the far barn over there and uh, of course the combine out of its little hidey hole and if you see over here the uh, international is uh, is gone it's actually been moved to the barn out there now I'm not sure what's going on but I have been instructed to drive this combine and both of these tractors up to the dealer and when I get up there, there will be a combine and two tractors to replace everything I, uh, I took up there. And I guess he had all those, bought them at an auction and had them serviced up there. And he's trading these in towards the service bill. But I think he's probably going to get money back out of this combine uh, but I think those two are being traded in towards towards the service bill. I, I don't know all the details. You know, I just um, I, I just work here, so uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's get into this and uh, see what we got. Uh, not gonna lie, I was actually kind of hoping to uh, run this combine a little bit, but um, well, it might be in something else by the sounds of it. So we're going to start with this one and uh, head up to the shop and uh, see what he has done. I'm out ahead of him enough. They can wait. But uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping to run this combine, but I guess I'm not going to get the opportunity. Oh, Got to wait for traffic here. Buddy, you got to go by. Come on. Oh, I tell you, this traffic, they stop for everything when they don't realize you need to get by. I'm going to hit that sign. So, yeah, this ought to be interesting. I'm not quite sure what I'm bringing back. But uh, I do know we just passed a soybean field over there that's almost ready to harvest. And then the field up over here on the left, that is, I believe, flax seed that is all, also almost ready to harvest. So I'm curious to see what we're going to be doing um, here really soon. I'm... Uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, this could be interesting. Um, yeah. Oh, I think we can fit through if we just time it right. There we go. And should, I hope, be able to fit through this bridge? Yeah, we're good. We are good. Okay. Uh, we did have some rain, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, the ground is saturated with water. I'm sure it'll dry up pretty quickly. Just going to take a little bit of time. Boy, hopefully nobody's going to be coming. Oh, I hope not. Oh, thank. They turned the, the other direction. Good deal. This is the hardest part of it all, is uh, getting through this little town here. But uh, we have officially made it to the dealership. So this is a John Deere dealership, so I'm assuming 
We're driving away with John Deere, but by the looks of it, we are not. That is a gleaner. Interesting. Um, hmm. That is interesting. Okay. I think this combine, I assume, just needs to go right here. Because I'm sure they're going to want it in their shop. So that's where we're going to leave it. It's right there. Um, yeah, here are the two tractors that he bought. Um, that one looks pretty clean, but this one's pretty dirty. Don't know much about them, but, well, we will shortly. And then, I assume this is the combine. Man, this thing looks brand new. I don't know if we can get this back to the farm with that header. But, um, hey, I got told to do it, so we're going to try. Hop up here. There we go. Okay. Fire this dude up. Wow, look at this thing. Lift the header. Draper, header, and all. Man. Let's see. Can we lower that down? There we go. A little bit better visibility, I think. Uh, I know I can't get past that tractor over there. Man, I was thinking we were going to be leaving here with a... Uh, with a John Deere, since this dealership was John Deere. Now, he did tell me it used to be a uh, an international dealer. That's why he uh, that's why he has so many internationals. But uh, I guess they switched at some point to John Deere. I don't think we're going to be able to get out this way. Um, hang on just a minute. I'm going to go talk to somebody and uh, see if we can get stuff moved. So... Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so change of plans here. We just got hooked up. They got us a trailer for the header. And um, it is the boss. He paid for it over the phone. And uh, it's what we're going to have to have, apparently. So that we can get this thing home. Um, I can't believe how much of a pain that is. Uh, he told me that's a 40 foot header so I can see why it was such trouble and uh, you know I tried to explain to him that hey that, you know I don't I had almost trouble getting that other one home I'm not too sure about this but yep apparently we should be good now uh, so we're gonna now officially get this back to the house uh, I don't know what kind of problems it's going to be um, when it comes to other things out here, you know, like the other fields. If, because um, see, I don't know how wide these openings are, and if you could even get this header down through here. Um, long as you don't have to cross the bridge, I guess it's not so bad. Oh, no, I'll leave that up to him. That's, uh, this is his new baby, so we'll see what he, uh, what he decides to do with it. But, uh, I got told we can use the entrance over here to, uh, bring the combine and the new tractors and everything through, which I... You know, I guess it just makes sense. There is an entrance here for a reason, so. But it looks like he's going to have to widen his path through here a little bit. Or actually, I'll probably have to widen the path through here a little bit. But, uh, so far, yeah, this seems like a pretty good setup. Now, I am going to assume... That we want to put everything kind of like it used to be. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't know if that's right, wrong, or indifferent. But we're going to find out. Uh, I doubt he's going to want to try to put this into a shed. The header, that is. But maybe now that it actually has a cart, he'll ask me to do that. But for now, we're just going to put it right over here. 
where the other header was. Okay. Let's see if we can just kind of suck it up over here. Is that going to look good? Let's hop out and have a look, shall we? Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So that's where we're going to leave it. And then now we can go put this in the shed. Which should fit just fine because the other one, you know, was in here and fit in here. So I, I wouldn't think that would be a problem. We just got to watch out. This one has duels versus singles. So this might be a little bit tighter to get in and out of here. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's uh, let's hop out and check our cab here. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. Whoops. No, we didn't want to hop in there. There we go. Plenty of room up above the cab. So we can put this back in here where it goes. That's probably close enough. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Okay. So now we just need to go and take these other two tractors. Um I guess we'll take the uh 4166 next. Let's fire it up. And uh, we got the doors locked open because there's no AC or nothing, but it is a little chilly, so I suppose let's go ahead and close these doors. Close that one. Close this one. There we go. And uh, let's take it up there. This is a really old tractor per se, but uh, I guess it's what he had before he had the other tractor. It kind of looks like maybe there's just been a history of uh, upgrade after upgrade of just tractors. Uh, it's interesting, though. I noticed both of the tractors there are two-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive. And I figured we'd be getting um, something that has four-wheel drive. But I, I wouldn't know why. But anyway, I'll see you up at the shop. All right, we're getting up here close to the shop. You know, this old International's not too bad. Uh, a little bit of paint, a little bit of love. I mean, it's kind of smoky. But, uh, you know, it's not that bad of an old tractor. At least I don't think so, anyway. It, uh, it runs pretty good. We'll give it that. It does run pretty good, but uh, we'll see. I wouldn't have a use for it, and uh, its visibility is, you know, pretty blocky with this old cab. There we go. And, uh, yeah, it needs a lot of help. Okay, I guess we'll take back this one first. Okay, this ain't too bad of a... Ain't too bad of an old tractor. Kind of started a little rough. But, uh... Interior's in good shape. Looks like the, uh... Whoever had it before, you know, they didn't clean it all that often. Oh, it's zippy little thing. Gets right up to, uh, speed. Okay, well, let's uh, let's see how it'll do. Doesn't appear to be too bad to me. It's got a nice road gear. It's smooth. Little noisy. The cab doesn't seem to have the dampening that I would uh, that I would prefer. But uh, as far as drivability, seems okay. I'm just surprised that he went from international 
to a white and a cleaner um, when he's got a John Deere dealer nearby. Well, it might be cost. I don't know. I don't know all of his ins and outs, but uh, anyway, once again, I'm going to grab the other tractor. It's probably going to be noisy, so I'll meet you when we get close to the shop. Well, I can't see what was really wrong with this tractor. It seems like a good little tractor. Um, not sure why he decided it was time for it to go, but uh, I guess it is. I'll be curious to see what they do with this old tractor, uh, to be honest. I imagine they'll probably give it a paint job and then... Uh, paint job and then resell it I assume okay well it's all here now we got to do is take this one the 9190 air cooled Ooh, Ooh nice nice tractor oh oh kids play mat they must have reused it for this Oh my word, look at all the equipment in here. Uh, this thing is decked out. Fully decked out. But, uh, okay, let's get this thing in gear and get her back to the farm. Oh, it's a speedy thing. It definitely can move. Look at that. It is a speedy little tractor. Wow. I have to be careful with this. It's not bad. Now, I do know they did put a new engine in this. So, we'll see... You know, what comes of it. I'm not 100% convinced by air cooling. I, I don't know how effective it is. But uh, I guess when we're working in the field with it, we'll just have to watch the temperature. We'll just have to see. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this parked away here. And then we'll see what our next task for the day is. Wow, this is a speedy tractor compared to all the rest of them. Nice tractor, though. Now, you can see it's got some wear and tear. And, I mean, we're talking, this is a, I think, 80s model tractor. And it's in very good condition. There we go. That should do it. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go see what our next task is and also where we're going to put that white. I'll be right back. Okay, so our next task is we need to take the white and move the John Deere down to the other barn. Uh, since that's where it's primarily used, he wants it down there. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to take the uh, John Deere down there. And then we're going to exchange it with the white. And um, put the white up here. I guess uh, he had actually discussed getting rid of the John Deere instead of the farm all that we took down there. But decided the John Deere was in overall better condition. Although... Sure would be nice to have a canopy over the top of this thing. But uh, I guess could be worse. Okay, let's go get that door. And we'll put the, put the John Deere in here. So this will be the primary use of the John Deere. Okay, we got to move this out of the way over here. He did keep his bale tine. So, I'm not sure why. But, uh, 
Now that that's out of the way, we can put this tractor in here. And then when we need to do any work with the cattle, we're supposed to just come down here and use it. Um, and it should be just fine. I think we're not going to hit nothing over here, are we? No, we should be okay. We're right near that barrel, but... There we go. Nope, they are tilted where they need to be. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to run those over now. Yeah, and like I said, here's the 7488. Um, I don't know if we'll use it much or not now. I, I, I really don't know. But, uh, yeah, quite a change. Anyway, we'll get the white put away in its new shed, and then we are going to mow, of all things. Apparently, he wants all the grass in the field behind this shed over here taken care of, so we're going to do that. I'm not sure what this would be used for. This is, uh, I mean, it's a nice tractor. Not sure what he bought it for, to be honest. Either that or it was just too good of a deal to pass up. Which could be. I don't know. Back this in here. I mean, I know he got a darn good deal on the Agco or the Deutz Alice or that, uh, that one. I know he got a good deal on it. He, he even stated he got a really good deal on it. But we need to get the Heston Swather out here. Let's see. Start her up. And everything looks good on it. Oil pressure's coming up. Okay, let's go get the header for it. Um, this must have been another deal that he got, too, I'm going to guess. Because this is a nice, nice swather. Oh, my. Man, I uh, most... Most of the guys around here are still using the older style swathers compared to this. So, yeah, this is this is super. But um, we'll go ahead and get started with what he wants us to do because uh, the day is ticking by, and well, I kind of want to get done. I have plans this evening, something fun. Okay, turn it on, drop it down. There we go. Drop it down. And let's get to cutting this grass. Boy, this thing cuts grass fast. Look at that. That is wonderful. Uh, I am absolutely amazed at how well this works. I think he could have let his grass grow a little bit more. But, um, hey, he's the boss. I'm, I'm just the guy that works here, so... We do, we do what we're told to do. Just like combining almost. Yeah, look at that grass swath we left. Wow, that's a good sized swath. Let's see, put that back down. Here we go. Yeah, I think this is definitely overkill for the property, but uh, hey... It's what he wants, so it's what we're going to do. Yeah, look how nice that is. It's just taking all of that in a one fell swoop. I'm even getting some of the outside edges over there. But I, I want to make sure we don't miss anything. You know, I, I, I don't want to leave any of the grass behind. Now, I'm not sure. I think we can cross this little ravine right here to get the other side but we'll find out anyway i'll get to uh get to uh, running this through and i'll see you in a few moments we have got her done that didn't take too long at all this is a nice man this is a nice swather it uh it lays lays the ground low in a hurry so we will go put this uh, header back, park the swather, and uh, I believe, if, if I remember right, he said to do the big section to 
um, the big section to grass bales and the smaller section to um, hay bales. So we could actually go ahead and bale right now. And uh, we could bale the uh, bigger the bigger side to grass bales and then come back and wrap them. So we'll uh, we'll work on that right away. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, well, might as well use the white test it out on baling. Let's see how it does. I imagine it'll do pretty good. It, uh, it sure is a zippy little old tractor. And uh, seems to be holding up pretty good anyway. Okay. Get that hooked up. Make sure our bale size. Yep, it's set for 150, which is good. Don't want that to be wrong. That'd be a terrible deal. Okay. Here we go. We will get over there and get this bailed up. I think it's going to uh, produce uh, a fair amount of bales. Uh, it cut really well. So let's see what we get here. All right, there we go. We are finishing up the last of this. And um, that looks pretty good. Now, we'll have... Um, the rest of it's going to be hay. So, we, uh, we will need to turn it. But we're going to have to wait till tomorrow because we need to let it rest a little bit. Um, I'm going to leave the baler hooked up. And just park this in the front yard right about here. That looks good. And then we'll get the John Deere to hook it up to the hay rake, which we need to open this up. And uh, I'll run down here, get the John Deere. All right. I've got this hooked up. And, uh, well, I got the tractor pulled out. We'll hook it up. We're going to leave the tractor inside. I don't think it's going to rain. Um, it doesn't look like it is. But that don't mean nothing. Um, it is getting a little cloudy out. So we'll just go ahead and back this up in here. There we go. That's good. Okay. Well, I think that's it for today. 
Um, I don't think he has anything else. I know I was just supposed to get that bailed so those bales were up. And then we'll turn that other over for hay tomorrow. So thanks to you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.